gentlemen, welcome down to what's this pub called, Joe? Purviel of the Peak. Purviel of the Peak Boozer for a brand new series uh, on RGM magazine, a very good magazine. And I'm privileged to be joined by Dirty Laces today, boys. How are we doing? Good. Nice one. So I want to get to know you a little bit first. So who's the most annoying one out of you all then? Jericho. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a few red colts. Yeah. 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 So I've got a bad addiction, so red colts. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what, I, what, what happens? Well, I, I go on a, a, well, I call like a, a toffee binge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I consume a lot of jelly babies. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then what happens after that? Everything just gets a bit We can't really see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Black out. Black out. Yeah. Is there just rising or more? Like so Will Ferrell. I don't have <laughs> like a conscious state of mind when this stuff happens. So oh, okay. It's all what I get up to. Well, we've all, got, we've, we've all got these little things that happen to us, haven't we, mate? So yeah, we have, have to work through it. Who, who's the late one? Charlie. There's always a late one. Are you Charlie, mate? No. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, one time I turned up a little bit late and they didn't let me in. So yeah. What, to a gig or something, obviously? Not to a gig or something. Oh, right. I don't want you in. Singer and that. Still. Yeah, we don't need him. They don't need me. We don't need box audience. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, who's the smoothest one out of the lot here? Um, I can like Shelley David. Uh, is that? I think that's obvious. I'm pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. In, yeah, what, in, like, what, in, what, in what way is smooth? He used every, the condition. Yeah, condition. Yeah. I've got, like, yeah. You know, oh, it's just fucking smooth as well. Yeah, yeah. Mate, play it, you know, pretty relaxed, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> tell, tell us a, 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 an amusing story from your life as a band, lads. Mm -hmm. Go on. Some of the things that are just be as dirty as you want this one. Yeah, oh, no, 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 so no one, let's have it. Oh, no, no, we can't. No, that's dangerous. Uh, no, it's too good. <laughs> no, we can cut. What was the question? I want to hear the sauna one. No. It was uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, we were, in, we were in Brighton. Right, okay. And, um... It's better. We, someone was having a joke about um, going to the sauna <laughs> right. next door, thinking yeah. it was a... Uh, the sauna. Just the sauna, right, okay. okay. So, so, so Charlie had a few drinks and walked into the to the office with a, a, a keg of dark fruit <laughs> with no shoes on yeah. asking for a registration I was signing up and they dragged me out they welcomed him with open arms if he needed yeah, to try to sell me poppers yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, what did you end up with? well, uh, well a sore neck with a keg could have been worse could have been See, much worse <laughs> yeah, I feel like we broke the ice a little bit now lads. so we, we, we know a little bit more about you I think so I've, I've noticed online I've seen, I've seen Reverend a friend of mine John McClough, I've seen him raving about you guys, and I've seen you guys from a distance online as well. It's just, I, I, I love watching the journey of a band and how you progress and that kind of stuff. So, how, how did the relationship with John start? I think you just seen us online, to be honest. Did he do some of the things come out of the blue? Yeah, because he just traded yeah. us out and nowhere. Like, oh, yeah. you lads seem to be everywhere, like, you want to be in somewhere, right? And then uh, the week after, we've seen him at Cotton Clouds, like, yeah. by Quinston, so we had a good chat to him there because yeah. he made, like a strip back set in. One of the areas, so we got to have a good chat with him and got Luke Straw. Oh, I drew a picture of him. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Were you yeah. kind? It was very yeah. generous. Very, very, <laughs> generous. <laughs> very generous. Very generous. Very generous. Very generous. He's very down to earth, John, and, he, and, he, 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 and he's, he's honest and all, which is yeah. what I appreciate about him. He, he, he do not bullshit about anything. So no. to, to get praise like that from somebody like that yeah. must, must be a little bit to you. Yeah, yeah, he borrowed your guitar pick as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they get it back? Did they get it back? Come on, John, get it back. So, as I mentioned earlier, then, the journey of a band. So, you've been on a journey and, you, and you've recently sold out of Gorilla. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little wink there from that one. You, you, yeah. I went there myself, but I saw the footage and it just looked amazing. So, yeah. how, how, how do you feel you've got to that stage? You know what I mean? Just hard work, isn't it? Really? Hard work. Progressing yeah. each time and then. Yeah. Just it's been a grueler, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a proper yeah, grueler. We've not always been as solid as we are now. Like, we, yeah. we had to learn the hard way. Like yeah. Sometimes like early gigs when yeah. we're, uh, we didn't have this solid lineup of members and yeah. certain yeah. people that were... Like when he didn't have his 8 by 10 Yeah, when, been, when we had to do small arms. So, sure. Yeah. So what is hard work as a band and what do you define as hard work? We, we had a bit of a different story where we got uh, a lot of our gear robbed. Police horses going yeah. back, back past the window. Oh yeah, there's horses. Sorry, excuse me, horses. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we, we got yeah. a lot of our uh, equipment stolen 
and uh, right. somehow okay. still managed to Who progress through. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it took a lot of like strength, and yeah. we, we still work hard. Like, so, you got, so, it, it, so would you say resilience is a massive thing that you need as a band? To yeah, because you got to get a knockback, and you've yeah. got to keep yeah, things. Everyone seems to think, oh yeah, you play one big gig, and it's not one yeah. guy in the crowd that will see you, and yeah. then it'll be big. Like like you yeah, have yeah, to play yeah, two hundred yeah. gigs, and some gigs there'll be ten people there, some times there'll be five hundred people there. You've just got to play them all as you like hit everyone with the same approach. What do you feel about those bands that they get a decent support slot, play to a few people, and the next minute they've got loads of demands? Because that is a realistic thing that you see. I don't feel you can blame those bands for that happening. Don't you? I don't think so, because you know, they're still good bands at the end yeah. of the day. Like, but I don't know, when you work hard, I suppose it does. It is annoying in a sense, but yeah, you can't yeah. blame them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but I think like, it's weird, you can't like, be jealous or anything. No, you just no, can't deal with it. no, but it's, do you mean the bands as in they start thinking that they're entitled to a lot more yeah, stuff and they yeah. don't want to play this? Well, I don't know, I feel like you, 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 you know, kind of living in a bit of a dream world if you think it, it takes a lot more than that. Some yeah. people have been lucky than others, but you need to have the same attitude because as soon, it, it, as soon as you stop, yeah. like people stop working day jobs and stop like I think because that you, 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 you need to be grounded and think yeah. and I think the harder you get it the harder you work and you need to have that approach I'm not saying that we've not had we, we've been very fortunate in certain aspects yeah. but we have worked hard to meet like all the support we've had off people sure. yeah yeah so what kind of pitfalls have you come up against because I, I, I love the journey of the band and I love what goes on behind the scenes and I, don't, I feel not, not enough people report what goes on behind the scenes sometimes so what kind of pitfalls have you come across as a band and what advice would you give a, a younger band starting well what, what, advan would you, what advice would you give a band that are like, just starting that look at you guys as doing well at the minute and would appreciate a bit of uh, advice i think one of the pitfalls is obviously been trying to find the right members for the group. that's the hardest part hard. getting the right people think, think a lot, i mean you can you can rush into it you know and then yeah you know just really want to get somewhere but you know just pick anyone out and yeah like, just because they, they need a drummer and they just yeah, pick the yeah, first drummer I possible mean, <laughs> we're, we're looking at all that everyone here is now on the, uh, <laughs> we're all on the same page where we want yeah. to be and where we want to go and uh, uh, we're very very lucky to feel like that but there's no point rushing into anything just so take your time sake, make yeah, sure everything's right make sure before you push got, on make sure everyone's got the same mindset and intentions yeah, yeah. and yeah. the same drive as that's well. massive because yeah. it's it's hard for everyone to be so hard working as someone not be, you know, they're a bit more laid back than everybody yeah. else. It really does win, you know, sometimes. I, I can relate to that, being in bands in the past and that kind of stuff, and people have different priorities. Yeah. Start having children and things like that, that can defect things, kind of yeah, relationships yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so, what are, so what are you thinking of? Um, so Don't get what? anyone knocked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good advice, that. Yeah, I think we're fortunate we've got time now. So <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah definitely fair enough. Um, so what support is out there for, for new bands? What what do you see out there? Uh, well, well, to be honest, uh, we, we found out that there's not that much support. <laughs> like, yeah. to be honest, you need to just graft and graft and graft. Yeah. And at the start, you'll be getting ripped off, you won't make any money. Like, you, you're not, if you're going thinking you're going to make money, then you've got the wrong mindset. You need to learn the hard yeah. way. You need to be working for promoters where they'll have demands where you're not gonna you'll sell hundred tickets, you might make hundred quid. Yeah. And you just need to take it on the chin and then the right opportunities will come along. Yeah. Don't go in expecting to be treated like royal if because you won't be. Yeah. But like you need to go in with you just need to like bite your tongue and kind of work, push through all the barriers. Mm -hmm. But there are still good people like small mm -hmm. magazines and like small promotion companies that will help you out. In the underground well, scenes, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there is. Well, we're trying to contribute to that in our own little way by yeah. being here and that and just noticing yeah. you guys and just trying that kind of stuff. What more can we do as like small independent promoters, stroke magazines type people, what more can we do to help you guys? I don't think you're doing the right thing now if you just keep yeah. doing this kind of thing. I think it's a really good idea. You, know, yeah. just keep you can put a lot of pressure on yourself sometimes, can't yeah, you? Yeah. You just have to live in the moment more, I think, yeah, and yeah, just yeah. do it. You, you can only do what you can do, can't you? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. So that, that's what, how I look at it with RGM and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I presume it's a similar kind of thing for you guys as a band. Yeah, just keep going, just yeah. keep working so much. Uh, and you just need to be open to everyone, like, you, you just need to think um, everyone that's giving you time, except the time that they're giving you, yeah. and work with them because you don't know what might happen. Yeah. Like, you just need to grab everything and every 
support and make like network with people around you and create your own community around the band. Yeah, sure. And then you'll have more people supporting you. So one person lets you down, someone else can help you. Yeah. And if you rise, you can help them. And if they rise, they can help you. What's coming up for you guys? So we've got a nice Christmas show coming up. Christmas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Christmas crap. Christmas yeah. crap. Oh, yeah. well done, mate. I thought you said it. Ooh, yeah. rubbish one, that. Um, okay, so you can't really announce That's anything, we, we can't say too much about it, but oh, yeah. keep a look out on your Facebook pages and all that kind of stuff, you'll be announced. Yeah, we're in the net at some point. Yeah, just keep an eye on the next few weeks and it's yeah. going to be a good show. And yeah, and then we've got a Mercury Climbing Festival coming up. Mercury Climbing Festival, that's yeah, new to me. Yeah. Talk, talk yeah. me through what that is. It's at the uh, Hat Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Stockport. Stockport, yeah, yeah, Stockport. Yeah, then we've got a uh, neighbourhood festival. Oh, magic. Pretty yeah. really well known, like Miles yeah. Kane, Fat White Family, and sure. so we're pretty buzzing. Wait, 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 for that one? Uh, I don't. Have they told you? Yeah, we can't. Um, I think. Not no, 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 no. Yeah, I've on the neighbourhood website. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get you into trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I've got that little mischievous side of it. Just tell me, but yeah. we're not going to get anyone into trouble. Um, so, uh, Liverpool tonight. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Brand new Jimmy's Bar, looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. What can the Liverpool crowd people expect from Dirty Laces tonight? Um, bollocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots, of, <laughs> lots of bollocks. Uh, lots of bollocks. Lots of toffees. Yeah. <laughs> lots of toffees. Have you got some? I'm going to treat you to some toffees. Yeah, thanks about that. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, all, all fueled on red coke, ready to yeah. rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you're all enjoying it, you're all having a good time. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. professional, yeah. you're taking on the world. This time next year, or yeah, well, where where do you think Dirty Laces will be this time next year? And then we'll, well then we've got it on film. And I want we'll to do a massive headline somewhere. Yeah, massive headline. Massive. We just want to get bigger venues, bigger yeah. festival slots. We want to record more music and just have a higher output yeah. and hopefully. Oh. But if not, then we'll keep cracking at it and we'll Stop. just keep going, see where it takes us. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty Laces, it's an absolute pleasure to spend this time with you this morning. Thanks for Thank you. Thanks for joining me down. Uh, my name's Carl Maloney, we're down at the Bruiser uh, for RGM Magazine. Uh, thanks again, Dirty Laces. Cheers, guys. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one.